everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna do a fun little new series that I'm gonna come out with, which, um, by the way, you're gonna find all the tea about this tomorrow in my vlog, since this is going up today first. So, this is my new series called Unbox the Tea. So basically, if you don't know what Unbox the Tea means, it's this little series title I came up with in my head a few days ago, and I decided to turn it into this. This is going to be the new Exposing Myself series. That series is over, end, done, boom, no more videos, hello. Instead, they're gonna be Unbox the Tea videos, where I um, unbox some things I bought. We have a little mukbang as well as we spill some tea and we just talk about life. So, we'll get started. I'm really freaking hungry. I'm gonna start eating before I start unboxing because I'm so hungry and you guys don't even know the struggle I went to get this. Oh my gosh. Did they not give me? What? Are they in here? They're not. I am so heartbroken. Oh my gosh, this is just a bag of trash I had on the floor. Oh my gosh. No, I paid for two cheese tacos. And they're not here. Oh my gosh. This is so sad. Should I call? They're closed now. Um, let me call them. I'm gonna call them because I want like get get it tomorrow or something. Hi, I don't mean to bother you, but I just left the drive-thru at 9.51 and I paid for two cheese roll-ups and I didn't get them. Is there any way that, like, I can go tomorrow and get some or something like that? Uh, yeah. Stay here tomorrow on the night? Uh, what time are you coming tomorrow? Anytime. What time is good? Okay, I'm, com I'm coming tomorrow on the night. And my boss, just here in the morning, uh, I call to him. You come in, you, are you coming in the morning? I'm coming at 4. I don't uh, know. Okay, so I'll either come in the morning or come in in the evening and I'll just bring my receipt or something. Yeah. Okay, my, my name is Lorena. What was that? Lorena. Okay, thank you. And you're coming in 7 for a bright door or inside. 7 to my name to catch her and she or he uh, calls me. Perfect, okay? thank you. And then I am. Uh, I remember, okay? Then I, the afternoon. Thank you so much. You're welcome, and I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. So I handle that. I'm going to go get my cheese roll-ups tomorrow. <laughs> Excited. Instead, I now have um, KFC, which I've never had KFC before in my entire life, ever. So we're going to eat some KFC, and I'm super excited because I love mashed potatoes and fried chicken and biscuits with all my heart. So let me see if it's good and if it holds to the standards of me and, you know, we're gonna start eating these mashed potatoes. And this is like a blast. I love this series. Oh my god. They like aren't bad. I've had 99 cent mashed potatoes from like, well, I think they were like two or three dollars. Because I got like the good brand from like um, Publix. Which if you don't know what that is, it's a grocery store in Florida, which is the best grocery store in the world. They have the best fried chicken. And it's like microwavable mashed potatoes and they're better than this. And I don't, this was like $5 total plus whatever I got from Taco Bell that I didn't actually get. You know, it's so disappointing though. I was always looking forward to Taco Bell. So I'm gonna start off with, I got this, um, oh, I went to Wasteland. I had to use the, I ran out of gas. Uh, you'll find out in the, the story time tomorrow or in the vlog tomorrow. So I don't have the bag for this because I had to put the gas container thing I bought in that bag so that I could store it in my car. So I got this hoodie. What brand is it? I don't even know. Port and Company. It doesn't have a brand. It says friends. Ow. It says friends on the front. On the back, it says 
fake friends with like the Fendi logo, which just, you know, the T. My whole life I've only ever had fake friends that like use me except like Janicia and Grace and like a few people that were like good to me. So that shirt is very like sentimental now. I love hoodies so much. Like my whole closet basically is full of hoodies. I don't know why. I have a lot of hoodies and jackets and then a lot of my shirts are just like black or white. Like literally that's it. I have black t-shirts, white t-shirts, and then black and white. But I have a lot of hoodies and jackets. I don't really know why, that's just my aesthetic. But due to all the fake friends I've had, that's why I thought that that shirt would be suit perfectly for me. I should grab some chicken. There's a cookie and a biscuit. Let's taste the biscuit. Mmm. The biscuit's not bad. Not great, but not bad. I really wish I got the Taco Bell. If you guys watch the vlog tomorrow, you'll understand the stress I went to to get this Taco Bell. So that's why I'm upset about, you know, this. I don't really know what to talk about. We're pretty much just eating together. We're eating together. I hope you guys are grabbing a snack too because you guys need it. So we're gonna continue to eat because I have a lot of food and not a lot of stuff. Um, I don't really know what to talk about. I didn't really plan this at all. Well, we'll get into it. So, last night I was at this party. And I talked about this in my vlog yesterday, so you guys know. But, well, last night is in like July 4th, which would have been two nights ago for this video. But, I was at this party, and I was talking to this kid. Well, I'm his friend now. I had this friend that, like, Sebastian used to love or whatever, and, like, Sebastian was, like, crazy. Chew. And, um, I was talking to him. And while I was talking to him, he was, like, sitting on a certain way to the point where, like, I was, like, basically sitting on his knee. But not really. I was, like, standing, but his knee was under my, like, between my legs. And then Sebastian walked in. And... Immediately walked up to me. And I was like, hey. I was wearing this outfit. He was like, hey. I really like your shirt. I was like. Thanks? It's from Forever 21. He was like, oh yeah, that's really cool. I really, really like it. In my mind, I was like, um. The last time I talked to you. You were telling me how badly you needed views and subscribers. And then that you wanted to make a video about me, but you didn't want to because you still loved me as a friend. Um, and then the next day you come out with a video of me. And then all of a sudden you're coming up to me and complimenting me. What? So then he compliments the kid I'm with and is like, I really like your chain. And the kid I'm with just doesn't like him at all. And was like, thanks, there's nothing on it. And then he looks at me and then looks at him, Sebastian, and then he walks away and he's like, love the shade. And both of us are just like, okay. God forbid. And then this part was really sweet. I love her so much, so it's kind of sad that I'm not her friend anymore. But, um, Kristen then walks up to me, and she's so sweet. She's never really been mean to me. I don't know, like, even with all the drama that's happened, she's never really been mean to me, so I don't really have anything bad to say about her ever. She's never been mean to me. She's always been nice. She's always been a really good friend. And we were really close. She was such a good friend to me. Like, she was so, so sweet. But we had a falling out, and that's fine. It's whatever. It's sad because she was such a good friend and she was always there when you needed to talk to someone and she was just a cool person to talk to because she like had advice, you know? And um, 
so she walks up and she's like i'm really sorry that all this happened but i really wish the best for you i hope that you do well in life like all this stuff which i thought was like really really sweet i was like she didn't need to do that she didn't need to say that we were already on like good terms but bad terms like we were on good enough terms to the point where like we didn't end on like the same notice like me and the other people in this fight but bad terms isn't like we're not friends anymore and you know it was just really sweet of her to like come up and like tell me that she wishes me the best whether it be true or not like it was just sweet she's such a nice person in real life like off social media she's such a sweet person but um later in the party I'm talking to Tanon, and Tanon and I are talking about her friend, whose birthday, Bella, and, um, we're talking about, like, where did Bella go, because, like, she was super upset, and it was her birthday, and I wanted to go cheer her up, because she's a friend of mine, too, and I was, like, waiting near Tana, like, waiting to ask her where did Bella go, I literally just walked up and waited next to Tana while she was talking, to ask her Sebastian's sitting there with like Kristen and he like waves at me he's like I'm like with that facial expression and everything and then he waves at me again he's like he's like I'm just like hi and then he waves at me again and I'm just like what I literally look at him and I'm like what so Then I walk away and go find Bella myself because I'm like, this is pointless. And then he tweets, well, let me get the receipt. <laughs> Where is it? Because I screenshotted it. I died. He tweeted right after. This is at 11.59. Oh! <gasps> no, this is before. If this was at 11.59 and this was two minutes before that, that means this is when I was talking to that guy and then got up and walked away. And that's when I was talking to Bella, Trevor, and Tana. And that's when Bella was telling me that she was upset. <laughs> so that's whenever I was talking to them, he tweeted, we love a cloud chaser. Smiley face emoji, shocked emoji, middle finger emoji. Literally love this. So that's probably why he was waving at me weird. That makes so much sense. Later that night, we got into a Twitter war. <laughs> at least I think we did. Because he responded to everything I tweeted, but I like can't confirm it was about me. But he first tweets. I know that this is like so petty of me, but it's so funny. I just love it. It's so funny. He then tweets, I'm so healthy. Me and my best et friend ever all made home salad tonight. And it was beyond healthy and amazing. It feels good to have real people in life. Loving life. Life good. So, I then tweet, <laughs> oh, since then he's deleted all these tweets. I have not. They're all on my Twitter. If you'd like to go check, it's Christian T. Aaron. I <laughs> then tweets, I tweet, drunk much, question mark, not about him. And then I said, because then someone said, I don't know, are you? So then I quote tweeted myself and said, not me, by the way, just read the drunkest tweet ever, lol, it's so funny. That could have been about anybody. Then he tweets back, a gallon of water a day keeps the fake people away. <laughs> then I tweet. <laughs> I'm dying at these tweets, guys, for real. Then he tweets, I'm actually dead. I'd rather be dead so I don't have to read them. Then I tweeted, looks like you have my post notifications on now. LOL. Then he tweets, beyond happy, can't wait for tomorrow, next chapter in my life. So crazy how such big things are happening so quickly. And then I think I tweeted, Living my best life now that I'm free. Oh no, I tweeted in the line at Taco Bell, bitches. So excited to eat this effin' chicken quesadilla. And I'ma get me two freezes. 
living my best life now that I'm free. Then he tweets in all caps, HYPOCRITE! <laughs> Let me unbox something else now. <laughs> this is from Saint Laurent. I've wanted this forever. Well, this is from Wasteland. I got it for $400, but it still has the tag on it. I've wanted this forever. It's a white hoodie that says Saint Laurent on it. I got it for $400 on sale, but it still had the tag on it, and it's originally $7.90. But the reason it's in a Saint Laurent bag is because I went to Saint Laurent to my sales associate, and he gave me a Saint Laurent hanger, and that is why I have a Saint Laurent bag. So I'm not even going to, like, say, mm, I got it from Saint Laurent. One, I didn't. So, then back to this. <laughs> Let's have a biscuit. Then, I say back at you, hun, in all caps. <laughs> and then he says, it makes me so happy when people find their real true love. I found my real true love, it's myself. <laughs> but, and then I tweet, am I in my first Twitter war, question mark? Because <laughs> I've been living for this Twitter war. And then he stopped and deleted all his tweets right after I said that. I was like, someone wants clout. Oh, then I tweeted, my bank marked Taco Bell as fraud and now I'm irritated. Because I had to leave in the drive-thru line, call my bank, then go back through the drive-thru, which was a fun experience. Someone then responded, just as fraudulent as the opponent in this Twitter fight. And I was dying. So that's the end of the Twitter war. But it was so funny because it's just like, oh well. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. As you guys can tell, I no longer love him. <laughs> Did I even ever though? Or did I just say I did because I felt bad because he told me he loved me? The world may never know. What's really funny is I have so much on him. So much. You can prove everything he said wrong. And I know people that would back me up. But he doesn't deserve the attention. Honestly, the fact that I even said his name in this is enough attention for him. Because he's so obsessed with clout. It's crazy. He calls me a clout chaser, but he gets on Danny's lives. And he's like, at the end of his lives, follow Sebastian does on Instagram, get me to 100K. And if you guys don't believe me, hold on. Where is it? Hmm. Hmm. I see it all because there's people in here and they're getting very, very uncomfortable. So, yeah. Bye. Love you. Follow Smash Fails. 100K. Get up to 100K. Bye. Love you. But I'm the cloud chaser. Also, I find it really interesting that. Every single person you become friends with and then fall, have a falling out with, you either F them over. I know you're watching this, so that's why I'm talking to you directly. You F them over. Play with them, use them, get into their lives, rearrange things. No, the reason me and Nicola aren't friends anymore is because of him. He filled my head with stuff so that I'd fight with her, and he filled her head with stuff so that he fight, she'd fight with me. And then... He like weaseled his way into our lives. He never went home and he blamed it all on me. Literally everything he says is just, I don't believe anything that comes out of his mouth anymore. But, you know. Hmm. I'm the cloud chaser. And then I find it so funny. Because he was crazy obsessed with Kristen. Crazy obsessed. Like, hold on. He made this, um, second Instagram where it at and it started because he facetuned a picture of me and like made it all funny and stuff and then he decided 
he's gonna do Kristen on this sister. It's called Facetune Sister. Bow down in the Cotton Queen at Kristen Hancher. Uh, find it really funny. And he would talk about her for days, days, hours. So obsessed, crazy. And now all of a sudden they're best friends. And ever since they became like best friends, he's been a different person. So I think it's getting into his head, I don't know. You tell me. You tell me since you're probably watching it. So. But, you know, I'm the, the couch chaser. Yet I've never, ever gone on anyone's profile, ever, and told people to follow me. Ever. I've never asked for a tag, never asked for anything, ever. Mm, another thing, he mentioned that I was upset with Nicolette for taking me out of a video. I was upset with Nicolette for taking me out of a video because um, Nicolette made me film the video when I was busy. She made me leave what I was doing and told me that I had to be in it and then she cut me out. He texted me, so I have proof and I'm not gonna go try to fucking dig it up. When we did a collab with Nicolette, Nicolette didn't post it because he didn't fit with her image and he didn't, she didn't like him at all. She's like, he's trying to use me. He's trying to force me to bring this collab up. She even refilmed the video because she didn't like the first one. And she hated the second one and the entire time she roasted him and said how horrible of a person he is. And then, a few days later, she took it down because she didn't like it, because he didn't fit with her brand. And he got so upset. He was like, this fake bitch takes down my video. Like, so upset. I'm like, girl, it's her channel. She can do what she wants. Sorry, she doesn't want you on it. But that's the tea. Hmm. But I'm the cop too, so. Hmm. Another funny thing. Every single person he's ever had a falling out with, he calls a cloud chaser. I can name dozens of people that he would complain about all the time. Then he's still hung up on. Then he now calls a cloud chaser. Including the kid I was with. And it's like, honey. There's only so many times you can call someone a cloud chaser. And it actually do anything. Especially if they aren't, and you are. So, I'm gonna finish this chicken nugget and unbox one of the, oh my gosh, I have more. Oh, I forgot, I have more. Okay, next is Cartier. I have, oh my God, I tried these cookies that James Charles talked about in his video with his brother. They're so good. I also got a mint. But I picked myself up a ring. I love Cartier. Ready? Ready? Voila. This is actually my old ring because I'm wearing it. It's a middle finger ring. It's a love ring just like these ones, but I'm a middle finger because look at the haters. So that's pretty much that. Okay. Let's put the box back. Had to pick that up, you know. Just felt like it. I was in um, this mood where I like hit a milestone in my life because I'm going to be producing a show soon. And I was like, oh my god, I really want to reward myself. So I went shopping today. I bought a few things that I really wanted for a while. I only bought things that I like have wanted for a long time. It wasn't things that I just saw. In the vlog, you'll see that I saw a ton of things that I really loved that I didn't buy. It was just overpriced. I would have spent like 30 grand today if I bought everything. Which, sister, we don't want to do that. Let me try to sit more comfortably. Okay. But no. Should I talk about more fake friends? And that's what this video will be titled, Fake Friends. Okay, what else? Hmm. Who knows? 
I'm sorry that I got like on this like petty little rant, but that's because like I've been building it up inside of me ever since I saw his video and there's just, ugh. I filmed a video, I'll show it to you. I filmed a video in response to his. But then I realized if I make my video public, cause I filmed it when his first came out. Like I filmed it the second I watched it. Cause I was so upset that he told me he wasn't gonna film it and then he filmed it. So I filmed the video saying, I want this to end exclamation part Sebastian Bell's response, exposing myself part five. So this is my part five. It's right here. It's on private. I uploaded it on private because it made me feel better that I filmed it. But I like have texts with both him, Kristen, Nicolette, Nina, everything. Everything. I show phone calls, phone messages, times, timestamps, everything to prove him wrong. And it's just not worth my energy or time. Like honestly, I don't know her. As a matter of fact, anytime anyone else asks me about irrelevant, I don't know who that is. I actually deleted his number from my phone. And I don't memorize numbers, so. I only memorize important people to me as numbers. I don't have a few people's numbers memorized. But, you know, he's not on my phone anymore. <laughs> it's okay though. I don't know what to talk about. Oh my gosh, I keep having these friends that I used to know reach out to me. Like I had this friend that I used to date reach out to me and we like didn't work out. We dated for like a week. Where is he? He DM'd me and was like, Hey, oh, this was yesterday. Didn't know that. Hey, I just watched one of your videos. I just want to say I'm really sorry. I, oh, this was about my sexual assault. I know you told me about that, but I didn't take it serious, seriously or even thought about it. I know we were young and weren't fully aware of everything in the world, but that shouldn't be an excuse for me. I know we've had our good and our bads, but just wanted to say sorry. I like what you're doing and I really think it fits you as a person from the last time we spoke. I just think it's right for me to apologize for being inconsiderate. And then I responded, he was like, of course. I was like, thank you. He was like, of course, I just thought since where we left off, you were mad at me, but I just wanted to be open and know you went through a lot of shit from what you told me, like you deserve better from someone who's known you personally. And I once again thanked him a lot. It's not a huge paragraph. And then he was like, I'm trying to skip over the random small talk about phone cases. <laughs> I like his phone, I like complimented his phone case because I didn't know what else to say. It like got to an awkward conversation. And then he was like, what about all the people at your birthday party that one time, like, are you still friends with any of them? I said, literally don't talk to a single one of those people at all. They all left me over. He's like, you haven't made friends in LA, obviously besides that group of people. I said, they all left me over besides like three people. <laughs> And they're like, he's like, for what? That's so pity. Like, I know you're a truly a good effing person. Like when we dated, you were just so thoughtful and sincere. I don't know how people don't see that in you. And then he's just like, you were such a good person. Like you treated me so well. You treated my family so well, like all this stuff. And literally like, it's nice to know that someone was acknowledging, even though like that didn't work out. I was also young, I was like 15, but like, I've always been like that in relationships because I put everything into it. And that's why it's hurt so much with the whole Sebastian incident. Because <sighs> I know I'm eating with my mouth full, but you know, talking. But because like, I've always put everything in relationships. Like I've always done that my whole life. I've always been so nice to the people I'm with and it's like, they always F me over. And they always come back apologizing, you know, as you see. Literally, even the person that sexually assaulted me reached out to me like a few months ago, like begging for me back. And I'm like, you must be out of your freaking mind. 
I have a lot of stalkers also. They're mostly people I used to talk to that I never really dated but like talked to. And they're like crazy obsessed to a bad point. Crazy. For years. This is good and some mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, I ate everything except the biscuit and the cookie. Okay. I'm throwing away all the trash. I need to make sure I keep the receipt so I can go back tomorrow and talk to, what was her name? Larissa? I'll just wash this over again. <laughs> Before I get into the dessert, let's get into one of my favorite things I bought. I have this huge bag from Balenciaga which basically covers the entire freaking screen. So, I picked up a pair of shoes. And I'm sure you know what shoes these are. So excited, okay. I really wanna go back to Wasteland and get that vet mint jacket and I really hope they still have it, so. I wanna just get the sleeves tailored because the sleeves are way too long, but. You guys. They have my size. So happy because I've been wanting these forever and it feels so good to work for them yourselves like and not just like get them given to you like this feels so good because I've wanted these for two or three years and literally like it just feels really good to finally buy them you know like saving up for them and just like you know it just feels really good inside and of course it matches my aesthetic my whole aesthetic is black and white and of course i'm gonna go back to balenciaga and probably get the outfit i tried on because i really liked it the leggings and the um the hoodie and i also have underwear that match the leggings i'm like super excited because i think that would look really freaking cute especially with the shoes and the bag that i really want to get with the backpack but i'm gonna like pace myself my feet are starting to hurt because i'm sitting on my feet um i'm gonna like pace myself and not buy everything all at once because you have to like save money, you have to like put your time, then it feels better whenever you're putting money aside and you're just buying things because like you want them, not just because like, okay, I guess this is cute or I guess I'll buy that today. So I'm like just so freaking excited because oh my you guys have no idea. And look at the dust bags, they're super cute. They say Balenciaga. I love the Balenciagas all black and white because as you guys can tell, that's my aesthetic, my favorite colors other than, well, my favorite color is red, but my favorite, like, black of color is black and white. Literally everything I bought today was black and white. <laughs> and everything I'm wearing right now is black and white, so, as you can tell. Also, my closet is mainly black and white. But, you know, gotta eat this biscuit. <laughs> anyway, oh my gosh, I should try the cookie before I go. I'm gonna finish eating that biscuit in a second, but I wanna try the cookie. Oh my god. This is really good. Guys, if you guys wanna eat a good cookie, go to KFC and grab a cookie. It's not that bad. But I don't wanna hold you guys forever. So, I'm gonna swallow this food and then say bye. I forgot tonight was um the club. I didn't mean to the club and I'm just like not feeling it. Last night I was like partying way too much and I just have to edit this video and have it up and all that other stuff. I've got like three videos to edit so it's exciting. And I was like, no, thank you so much, babe, but let's do um Disney instead. <laughs> My go-to. No, I'm good. Want to go to Disney? <laughs> I'm such a kid. <laughs> no, I don't want a club. Want to go to Disney. Yeah, okay. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this series so much. I'm sorry I got a little petty in the beginning, but I hope the end was good enough for you and I hope you guys liked unboxing the tea with me. Kind of like that name though. Anyway, hope you guys entered my giveaway on my PR boxing. If not, go check that out because um, it's still going on. Hi, hello. It'll be going on until that video hits 100k or I have 50k subs, both of those. So with that being said, share this video, like, subscribe comment down below your opinions then remember i'm your sponge 
if you're having a bad day at work, if Karen took your sandwich out of the office fridge, or if Kimberly is effing her way to the top and you are working your booty off and you're not getting there, just remember, you can take it out on me. Tell me what you're bothered with. Take it out on me. I can take it. I'm your sponge. Anyway, follow my Instagram, Christian Aaron. Follow my Snapchat and Twitter, Christian T. Aaron. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Keep saying icons. Bye. Mm -hmm.